can lighting impact the terpenes that are produced? Oh, absolutely. Um, let's you know you got to think about what a terpene is. You know, it's, it's the aromatics of the of the the plant. Um, why do plants produce these? You know, plants produce them to ward away um, other animals, other creatures that might want to infest the plant, um, eat the plant, um, consume it. It can act as a, uh, an attractant to other other insects and other other animals and other bugs to come eat it, so it can digest the seed and, and deposit the seed. But the terpene itself is um, is a phenolic compound that the plant produces um, inside the the oil gland, and these oil glands are 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 what we call secondary metabolites of the plant. The, the plant produces um, resin and, and trichomes as a self-defense mechanism. Any bugs that are trying to walk through the plant to eat the plant, they'll get trapped up in the resin, stuck, and they can't move, they can't really feed, they can't do anything. So um, the environment, specifically the lighting, um, is impacts the, 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 the formation of the resin gland and what's inside the resin gland. Because if you get down to like the resin gland itself, it's a sphere. And it's a perfectly designed sphere so it can take in the UV radiation from the sun and, and diffract it and break it apart so the UV radiation doesn't touch the, the plant tissue. Because UV radiation is, is harmful to every, every living organism. So plants produce um, secondary metabolites like resin, like trichome resin glands to help protect itself from UV radiation. UV radiation. So long story short, the lighting can absolutely impact the terpenes being produced, the the, the active compounds inside these these resin glands, the, the flavonoids, any any type of compound inside these resin glands can be directly impacted from the lighting itself, which is why you see certain UV contents to indoor lighting because you need the UV radiation to signal to the plant that I need to produce trichomes so I can form um, a barrier between me and the UV radiation. And with that comes with, with the terpenes themselves too. So besides UV, can any of the other spectrums of light impact the specific terpenes? Like, do we have any control over that? Like limonene, myrcene, so on and so forth. Is there spectrums of light that trigger those specific types of terpenes? Yeah. Um, that's why you see a lot of difference between uh, LED lights and like CMH to HPS and the different resin output. Um, you have people put, um, you know, the far reds in their LED diodes to help trigger the plant into producing more 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 um, more chemicals inside the oil gland, trigger specific biochemical responses to the plant. The 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 spectrum is like the plants growing outside get a completely different spectrum of light from from the colors to the UV radiation to everything in between that really affects the the compounds that the that the plants biochemically making. Um, I I personally believe that the photons and all the different spectrums outside. It caused the plant to biochemically create different terpenes than you would inside, different uh, uh, active compounds outside compared to inside. Um, I would say the color goes into it, the the the, the, the uh, UV radiation goes into it, the infrared goes into it. Um, everything everything regarding the light really goes into the production of of all these all these active compounds that the plants are making. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products. 